I'm not classist, but when I see that double O in Oop North, I lose my cool, my ire goes through the roof. Put out by some patronising scoop hound who thinks I talk like that. Show me the proof. Here the writer is making a judgement, portrays his subject as some kind of fool. Based on the assumption that his readers don't live within 200 miles of Google. And speak in received pronunciation unlike this semi-literate baboon. Listen to the funny northerner talk straight from work a 12 hour shift on to loom. Or look at the angry Mancunian. Isn't he funny? It's all quite a hoot. As this rock star tells them all to fook off while sipping champagne from a Chelsea boot. See, to me, it doesn't sound like I speak. Who, north of Watford Gap, ever said oop? It seems you're hoping to alienate over half the country out of your loop. Now call me pedantic, call me a fool, or a peddler of verbose cod's wallop. But no word ending in double O-P has ever, ever rhymed with the word up. I recognise that some double O words have different sounds. I learned that at school. Whereas you seem to have missed that lesson, which suggests to me you're some kind of fool. I shan't make you a point of ridicule by inserting an R in bath and dance. Your accent is merely the consequent of those Normans who invaded from France. But I wouldn't dream of writing like that. To set you apart, show you are not like me, I really wouldn't. Although I suppose I already have done, technically. You see, we are not from another land. We're not another skin colour or race. So what is it that you're hoping to say that it cannot be defined from my face? If we're reading the same words on the page, why need you mention the way that they're said? Unless it's to show you're somehow better, that you see yourself as the thoroughbred, we know full well what the images are and all the inferences attending. It's not geography at all, but class and the desire to be condescending. And to prove it's not geographical, I'm more than sure that this elitist hack would, if interviewing an East Ender, make a point of misspelling the word fuck. To prove this class war is all one way, and not wishing to cock Nigella a snook, should I need to make a gooseberry fool, I'll be pleased to read her cookery book. To make a point, you need adversity. The pampered find it hard to be funny. Life without the royal family, my arse. And imagine no taste of honey. We're just glad our shops are open all hours as the fresh-baked hovis cools on the stoop. And if they've sold the last of the summer wine, then we could always nip round to the coop. Sorry, that's co-op.